Good morning YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install cruise control on any Harley after the year 1982 with about $15 and about five minutes of your time using this little thing. The reason I put quotations around cruise control is it's really a throttle tender which kind of serves the same purpose but it's not nearly as integrated as cruise control but it comes at just a fraction of the price. Like I said earlier, you can pick one of these up for $15. This is a Barefoot Willys throttle tender. This is basically just an extension to your throttle adjusting screw that allows your throttle to lock into place while you're riding. I've had one of these on my Sportster for over a year now and I absolutely love it. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install it on a Dyna, but like I said, any Harley made after the year 1982 will have this screw and it will work on your bike. Installation just takes a few minutes. Uh, this video will probably be longer than what it takes you to put it on your own bike. So let's come in close and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so what you're gonna to want to do is of course go to the throttle side of the bike and locate your throttle adjustment screw. This is going to be located in between both of the throttle cables right underneath your uh, controls. So this little black five prong screw is the one I'm referring to. What you're going to want to do is find the point where your throttle no longer returns back to zero. Now, also a word of caution, you're going to want to do this a little bit in a timely manner if you're working on a carbureted bike. This is a fuel injected bike, so I can take my time and show you guys. Essentially what you want to do is pull the throttle all the way back, let it go, and then tighten. So clockwise, well, where you're looking at it, it'll be counterclockwise, but you're looking at the back side of the screw. Turn it to the right, about a quarter turn, and continue to try it. If it still returns to zero, go another quarter turn and repeat the process. Okay, now you can see mine is already sticking. So what you wanna do is loosen the screw until your throttle returns back to zero. You'll probably see it and hear it click. Right there. So that's gonna be the point where you want to install the throttle tender onto the actual throttle adjustment screw. As you can see on the throttle tender, it has five gaps. That five gaps is going to be filled by the five prongs on this screw. You're going to want to install it in this orientation with this bend as close to you, the rider, as possible. So that's pretty much gonna be the position that we put it in. Now, when you're ready to install it, simply push it on. And there we have it. So now we can put our throttle in the desired location. Say for example, we're going on the highway around 55 and you want to take your hand off the, the throttle for a little bit, simply push that forward and your throttle is now locked. To disengage, you can just simply flick it back with your, uh, your finger. If you've got long enough thumbs, you can flick it back with your thumbs. I am not that fortunate. <laughs> or you can simply, if you get into a tight situation or anything, this is not locked to the point where you're not gonna be able to, to get it. It's not advised to do this, but I will show you just for demonstration purposes that if you do come up to a, get yourself in a jam or something, you need to get the throttle right then and there, you can just force it back and then disengage the throttle lock, but that will slowly wear down the uh, plastic in there and you'll eventually have to adjust your throttle. So it is advised to lock it and then when you're done, Simply flick it back and then your throttle will go back to zero. And there you have it folks, the Throttle Tender by Barefoot Willies. Of course, as with all my other videos, I'm going to include a link to purchase this specific product down in the description. It is an Amazon link. Just go ahead and click it and you can order yourself one or order some for your buddies. Other than that guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I do put out at least three videos per week every single week. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.